Wheels are one of the greatest innovations that changed the trajectory of human history. Wheels set our world in motion. The world of locomotion saw another breakthrough when teeth were added to the circumference of the wheel. This toothed wheel revolutionized the phenomenon of positive power transmission by transferring power and motion at a constant velocity and higher loads without relying on friction. Gears are machine elements that transfer torque, or rotational force, when the distance between the input and output shaft, or center distance, is not very large. When gears of multiple sizes are combined in a gear train, they transmit power, reduce or amplify the output speed, and reduce or amplify torque. Gears can also change the direction of rotation. These gear trains are housed within a mechanical unit often known as a gear drive or gearbox. The gearbox transmits power from an energy source, called the prime mover, to the driven equipment. This principle is at the heart of most gearing systems. For example, gearboxes transmit energy from an automobile's engine to its wheels, regulate power from the aircraft carrier's engine out to its propeller shafts, increase the speed of energy captured by the blades of a wind turbine, and convey materials on construction sites and manufacturing plants across the globe. Gears must be designed to transmit constant velocity, have maximum mechanical strength, accuracy, and satisfy target safety ratings for the intended application. The first step for designing a gear pair is identifying the requirements. These requirements are specified in the gear application data sheet, provided by the customer, and serve as design inputs. Some of the common application specifications provided by the end user or customer are prime mover, input and output speeds and torques, gear accuracy, space limitations, and target life. Based on the design inputs, the number of teeth in the gear and pinion and the respective geometrical dimensions of the gear tooth are estimated using standard design principles and experience. During operation, the gear teeth are in mesh and experience axial, radial, and tangential forces, resulting in two primary types of tooth fatigue stresses, which are bending stresses at tooth roots and contact or Hertzian stresses on tooth flanks. Bending fatigue stresses are tensile stresses exerted at the root of the gear tooth, and contact stresses are the compressive fatigue stresses induced on the surfaces of the gear tooth. Each gear tooth undergoes bending and contact stresses intermittently, during each pass through the mesh load zone. As the gear rotates, the repeated loading and unloading cycles develop stresses in the gear tooth which results in accumulation of fatigue damage that can cause tooth failure. The buildup of fatigue damage from tooth root bending stresses will result in a tooth root fatigue crack and eventual tooth fracture or breakage. Likewise, the buildup of fatigue damage from tooth flank contact stress will result in surface pitting of gear tooth flanks and eventual tooth failure. To counter stress development, the designer must design gears with greater mechanical strength which improve the bending strength at the tooth root and the contact strength on the tooth flanks. The tooth root bending strength and tooth flank contact strength must be balanced between the gear and the pinion of a designed pair. The designer must also design for uniform load distribution to prevent fatigue failure during operation. The maximum stresses that the designed gear train can endure, compared to the stresses that the gear will experience under operational conditions, is expressed as a safety factor. Safety factors are an indicator of the strength and reliability of the gears and are considered the most important element of gear design. Safety factors are calculated using dedicated gear design software. A gear design is acceptable when the calculated safety factor meets or exceeds the target safety factors. To achieve an acceptable safety factor, it is critical to have the correct tooth geometry, accuracy, and material hardness. 
When a designed gear pair does not meet the target safety factor, gear tooth geometry, material hardness, and accuracy are modified. The safety rating is recalculated with the modified values. This process is repeated with multiple iterations of the gear geometry and material hardness until the designed gear pair meets or exceeds the recommended safety factors. In addition, it must be feasible to manufacture the designed gear with available machine tools and tooling if possible. Once the gear design is finalized, the results are delivered as an engineering drawing. The engineering drawing will include a gear data block that has information on the dimensions and accuracy of the gear tooth, along with material hardness specifications and other special features. Parallel axis gears are the most common types of gears used for power transmission. This course explores the design principles involved in designing single-stage spur and helical gears.